Hi, so welcome back to second part of this module, okay? Uh, the CGI pipeline, alright? So now uh, we just already done the modeling, I'm going to touch this goat, alright? So this is your goat. Yeah, so let's first we have to uh, click the head. Uh -huh. So this is going to be the skin. Uh, skin. Let's like all uh, the one that I think is a skin part. I will take it. Okay. And then I will move it to uh, this also. To another layer. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to make this all as a uh, skin surface. Okay, so I hit I hit Q and then change surface name to skin all right because this uh, skin okay and then i'm going to remove the eyes i put it here cut and then i put it here it's because i know uh the eyes will be black so it's not same color with uh, another uh, skin color right so that also the leg uh -huh. i'm going to take it off cut it i put it here so I will select all the thing that black part for me black. I rename it uh, the surface uh, as a black black yeah, black right? black. Okay, I'm going to hit F5 uh, to bring out the surface editor, and then I just uh, change the color to little black. Uh, and let's type specular. I always use these options. Good. and then I'm going to double side it right so for this part I'm going to unwrap as a UV UV texture okay I want to uh, have a little texture design okay so I'm going to start with the head first mm -hmm. this I will change it to UV texture uh, a few parts okay and then I'm going to click T this T option here T for texture W for weight T for texture M for morphine okay only three parts is important others there is not and then I'm going to click here and then click new uh, and then I'm going to make a UV texture name uh, goods yeah, good. <laughs> uh, all right and then uh, let's hit the X so you can get the surface from the side that you use okay let's go X and then yeah so you get a nicely uh hit here oops that uh i match like this uh -huh. and then you have to make sure uh this will be the closest as this okay arrange by uh adjusting the 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 size and all okay so this is good and then I'm going to take here the other part because uh, this have here but uh, you have to unwrap it unwrap it okay so it has to be a plain uh, surface in the in the texture UV texture okay so I just cut it and then I just paste and then select, select again and then I just uh, hit Y because I want it from above uh, create again another one so I just enter adjust it yeah you have to be like uh, use your eyes to make it uh, the closest size as possible okay okay and then I will use this as well I cut I paste because I want I don't want it to be a uh, uh, hidden so that when when you create the textures uh, it's not stretched like this okay it has a nice uh, cubic uh, nice uh, nice texture there <laughs> all right okay so I just cut and then I just paste and then I'm going to step back and then I'm going to hit G and create okay here like this okay Okay. And then I'm 
remove it here this will use the same texture right so to uh, to save the space I uh, and the works that I usually uh, what I think is same uh, use I will put it in the one one side one area like this okay yeah and then the side here you have to also take it out make it a plain uh, plain surface okay so I select the uh, the bottom part and then I'm going to extend the selection okay this I don't want this I don't want this I don't want okay so this part inside uh-huh extend here the selection I select all I cut because this is a uh, like a very complex uh, to wrap it so I usually do on the other on the other uh, layer okay so I'm going to hit uh, Z okay and Y from, from above so it'll be like this okay mm -hmm. and then where is it Okay, so I'm going to resize it again. Like this, okay. Uh, so this now uh, for the below parts. Let me get a uh, fit inside this, okay. So I'm going to put back into this layer, and then I'm going to merge it all back, okay. So uh, like this is not connected, okay, because I cut it and all. So I have select all, it's nothing coming up. So I have to uh, merge again. I hit M uh, for merge the point. Uh, so if I select one and I select all, uh, it's connected. Okay. Okay, so this is your UV. Okay, this is your UV that show uh, the maps that you create uh, to uh, uh, to put in, to export into the pot, uh, Photoshop's. All right. So now I'm going to uh, file export EPS EPS. Okay, so this file is working for Photoshop and after Illustrator. Okay, and then I'm going to select that show only uh, I don't want to draw the line the line is draw the line is this okay uh, you, you don't want this okay and then I fit uh, into square 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 box 10 per 10 uh, and then I'm going to export files inside this image character make sure you have a same uh, same name okay same name uh, as the models so that uh, like they can uh, track the file easy when you're making a path. Then craft goods. Craft goods. Yeah. Yeah. So okay, now you done the three D parts. Uh, open the wrap the UVs, and then let's go to Photoshop. Uh -huh. Open the Photoshop files. Uh, 